Morning digger friends, uh, back on here again, it's Friday, I think it's the 8th, or is it the 9th, I don't know, I always get mixed up, but it's Friday anyway, 8th or 9th of January, and David came down yesterday, we had a few bits to do, we didn't come down, it was really, it was snowing, it was howling, uh, but we've got other things done which you'll see in the future, uh, maybe some of you will see them today, although you won't see this video today, it'll be a couple of weeks before you see this. Um, anyway, he said that the forecast today is not good, it's going to be raining, it's going to be 8 Celsius. Um, I've just tried the ground, it's still very crusty, so that means it's frozen. So I'm going to give it a go anyway, see if we can get through that crust. And um, we'll see if we can bring you some good stuff. I've had some lovely Roman stuff off here, <clears throat> about 3 or 4 coins and a ring, and 3 silver hammers, other bits and pieces. <clears throat> and I just keep seem to to be hitting it. So here we are. I'm going to make a start. Hope I can bring you a good video today with some more Roman stuff. Let's see what comes up. Okay, good start. I've only got a few meters into the hunt, about two or three minutes, and um, got a nice 75, 76 signal. And and here it is. It's probably a dog tag. Has he got a hole in there? Yeah. I had one of these the other day, very similar, a dog tag. That's my next find. Let's get this camera right. There you go. There, it's a button again. And my next find, another button. That were frozen in. I had to dig that one out. Really difficult. And that wind's just started picking up and a few black clouds coming over. So I'm hoping I can get the, this run up and down done. Anyway, so there's the next find, the button. I just found this. I found a piece similar to this yesterday. I don't know how old it is. It just looks so clean that um, I don't think it's old. Right, I've just got a lovely signal bouncing up between 50 and 55 uh, and I found it and I think I know what it is. Oh, look, look, can you see it there, look, there. I think, brother, that is a silver hammered. Yeah, it is. And it's a little cracker, it's not damaged, nothing. What a little cracker. So this run, or even the next run, that will do me if I find nothing else. I'm happy with that. So that's four silver hammers I've had off here now. What a lovely little stunning find that is. It's another button, uh, an unusual type of thing. I can't really see anything, just everything's lathered in mud. Yes, look, I just got a 50 signal. Dug it and it's a finger ring. A bronze finger ring, very flimsy. That's a, what it is, it's a finger ring. I don't know if it's Roman, you can't tell, but it's very, very old. I'm not sure if, should have, if I should have filmed this or not. It's bronze and it's heavy, uh, but I can't see anything on it. It's a bit bent, So, but I should film this and when I clean it up, see if there's anything on it. Okay, I got another good signal, 80, 85, and I can see it. I didn't film it, I didn't live dig it, because they never turn out for me, as you saw in the last one. But I can see this, and it looks exciting. There it is. I can't get on my knees, fellas, it's absolutely filthy. And what is it, a one kreutzer? One kreutzer? No. No. It's Roman. I'm sure that's bloody Roman. If that's Roman, what a cracking day I've had today. It looks not round to me, not perfectly round. That's Roman, that is. Woo! -hoo! Yes, Roman in the silver hammered. Cracking day. Just got another good signal. If you're a regular on my channel, you'll remember that I've dug these up before. <clears throat> you can see they've got some pins there, look, at both ends. I don't, I can, it's difficult to point with the, the, there, look. And at both ends, the like pins where it sticks through leather. I think these are something to do with horse brasses, I'm, I'm not sure. I've got quite a few of these, but they're always interesting. I still don't know what they are. If anybody knows, let me know. All right, just got a, a jumpy signal. And maybe this is other off of that spoon I found the other day. Another stonking signal. That's exactly as I've just seen it. Exactly. What is it? I don't know. Maybe it's a one quarter. I don't know. It's got that shape again. It's possibly, yeah, 
I can see a head on there. I don't know whether it's Roman or not, I really do not know. It looks a bit like Maria Teresa. I just don't know. Can you see that, look? The head on there. I don't know if it's facing wrong way or right way, but it's another coin. All right, a little tunic button. Uh, and I think, I'm not sure if that's a chrome on the back there, but I like it. It might be old, it might not. I just want to show you this. Every time I get a signal, this is what I've got for up wheel up. There's about a kilo of mud on there. And I have to take it off every time when we shovel. It's no good wiping it on the ground because it, you just get more on it. So I have to take it off when we shovel. And uh, and then next signal, same again. Same with my boots, look. Look at my boots. It's terrible. The coin. Uh, it's modern, I think, 1940s or something, or 50s. Old button, stuck in here, look, really old. Really old one, might be military, that. Found something similar to this yesterday. I nearly didn't film this, uh, getting a bit bored now, um, because this mud's getting on my nerves. But I think that's modern. Well, that one took some finding. Can you see it here, look? It's little, it's not like that old, I don't think. Probably a one hella, something like that. But it's another coin to today's hunt, which is nice. Another coin, a big one too. Don't know what it is. Is it a coin? Yeah, it looks like a one Kreutzer again, 1800. It's about that size, but really, I mean, I've been shocked with some of the Roman stuff. That might even be Roman, because it's not perfectly round, but it's probably, probably a one Kreutzer. You'll see when we get back. I think that's a one Kreutzer. Got a bird ring here. Um, got a number on it, look. So I don't think it's been in the ground that long, because it's still got the colour. But give me a nice signal. I got a nice 7980 signal. I've got another one of these bronze leaf shaped things or eye shaped things so that's two of that off here hello everybody uh here's the roundup from yesterday terrible on yesterday i mean it, it was good um artifacts wise but um it, it was above freezing and that crust on the top which was frozen as i was digging if you tend to stand in one spot too long it just melts under your foot and, and you're just covered absolutely covered everything is lathered in in mud uh, the temperature today is 15 celsius so that's about 60 fahrenheit so it's quite pleasant today but it's been raining so i'm not going down on that field today that's for sure because it'll be really bad down there i'm very tempted because i find in good stuff on there but anyway let's get on with this and what i'll do is i'll show you this lot then i'll follow it up with some um still pictures when all this lot's cleaned so here i've got the buttons one two three four five six seven eight nine buttons that one that one impresses me i think that's old uh and i think it had a stone in the middle that's if it is a button it probably it's got a nice pattern around the edge look okay and then so they're all buttons uh, that's a bullet, the top of a bullet, and, uh, and then I got these two things, and if you watch the video, I probably said, can anybody help me? I don't know what these are, I just think that there's something to do with horses, and if you look, when I turn it upside down, there's a pin there and a pin there. Obviously, for it to go through some material, maybe leather, a strap, or whatever, I don't know, but I've got lots of these, I don't know how old they are, I don't know what they are, um so I, I i'm not sure what to say i'm just not sure what to say what they are uh then that's probably a dog tag i don't know but nice little find that that is actually a, a finger ring but what huge finger that went on absolutely huge this is a bird ring and it's dated 1939 and as you can see it's quite large so i can only think that that went on a falcon or something like that uh, and they did use falcons in in the during the war to bring down carrier pigeons. Uh, so maybe it's one of those falcons. I don't know, but found a couple of these. David's had one. 
about the same period too on the other land. Uh, there's a little clip here, don't know how old it is or, or what it is, not sure. Um, then I've just got this bling here. This is a roofing stud with the with the uh, clip bit missing in the middle. And they're non-ferrous, don't know what they are. Always like to clean stuff up first before I throw it away. That's modern, don't know what it is. That intrigues me a bit, it's hollow look. Right, so I'm not sure what that might be off, it might be off a pen but I've got a feeling it's older than that, but it's non-ferrous. That's non-ferrous too. And this, uh, if you watch the film again, I did say I got another part of that from another hunt. And here it is. Here it is. Uh, I don't know if that... I don't, so I don't know what this is. Maybe it's a drawer handle. I don't know. Or a letter of some description. I don't think it's old because it's in really good condition on that side. But anyway, and then lastly, coming to the coins, I was hoping I'd got Roman, but uh, I know I haven't now, because <clears throat> I've lost them a bit. But they're two 1800 Kreutzers, and they are exactly the year 1800. We get a lot of these. They just must have minted millions of them uh, in 1800, or produced millions of them. Uh, and I was quite sure that this maybe might be a Roman, or one of them, uh, because that one's a little bit off round, but I have seen the 1800 on it, uh, and it's the same size as that one, which is an 1800, which you can see. Uh, this one's slightly bigger, look. It's just slightly bigger, and I couldn't believe it, I cleaned it up a little bit, and that one's an 1800 Kreutzer too, so three 1800 Kreutzers there. This is 1940, uh, so Second World War. I like Svenig. Or, or, or I think, or Ten Groschen, I'm not sure. Um, I'll have to clean that up, but they never clean up good then. This is a, a 1782, I think it is. I thought I saw the date on that. I'll see it better when it's cleaned up. So that's 300 years old or more. So quite pleased about that. Don't know what it is. I'll see when it's clean. And that's a silver hammer. I don't know what date's on that. It's in immaculate condition. Or, you know, it's not bent or pieces missing from it. So I'm quite pleased about that. So I had a good hunt yesterday. So I'll take some stills now. And um, I'll show you them when they're cleaned up in the stills. Thanks for watching everybody. Have a good hunt when you go out. If you want to detect, we suggest you select Garrett's 18 Row. It's the best way to go. Garrett's metal detectors will always protect us. Cause we find things that are
Good hunting, soldier. Thank you, sir.